Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. You join me and Matty from the Magpie channel. How's it going, mate? Good, mate. Nice to you to join us down here in Sweden. Well. Mm. I was going to say, I definitely brought the weather with us because it's uh, not as nice as I hoped it would be. Mm, not as nice as it was when I first arrived here a month ago. You're right. Uh, I've come down a day early because we are heading to the Crystal Palace game tomorrow. Um, obviously, Graham Jones has been out. He's done his interview. Can Graham Jones get our first win this season? I'm going to be positive, Rob. I'm going to go yes. It's going wow. to be a big, sexy yes for me. I think Palace looked pretty good, to be fair, the other night against Arsenal. Yeah. Got a draw, harshly done by, obviously, in the last minute. Should have got a win. Vieira's doing well there. Southhurst Park, it's not going to be an easy place to go. Boisterous atmosphere, but I think Jones is still there. Unfortunately, obviously, there's no complete new change yeah. of manager. I mean, it's not going to be much different from Brucey Ball, really, is it? Unless Jones can implement a good style. Um, Let's just get on the front foot. Let's create chances. We can definitely get a win. Whether or will, I'm not sure. I'm probably leaning towards a draw, to be honest with you. But I'd, I'd yeah. start to take that. I mean, I think, well, I went to my <laughs> prediction in the week and I went 1-1. One, one, so yeah. I think a draw would, would I mean, again, I, I'm desperate to get our first win of the season. But I still think a 1-1 one, one against the Palace side, who have looked pretty decent under Vieira mm. this season. Um, but that's the thing. The big question is, is has Jones had the time to implement anything to this team and can he get more out of them than what we've seen from Bruce so far because again you know Graham Jones has worked with Steve Bruce all season mm. um, Bruce is the man who makes the final decision I, I, I like to think that Jones may have one or two things in his back pocket that maybe he's not been able to implement now it's obviously the same it's the same squad <coughs> in terms of players who are going to be playing in the starting 11 tomorrow I should imagine it'll be pretty similar I hope not <laughs> I want to see. I want to see Sean Fernandez brought in, mate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'd even bring in Lewis at left back. Yeah, mate. I'd switch things. You got right the faith. Up. I'd switch it up, mate. I'd switch it up. It's not. Look how shit we've been. Yeah, it hasn't been working. We're without a win. But we've you're got right. To lose. Well, we can't get any worse. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. No, well, that's, this is the question that I've been asking for a while as well. Because you look at someone like Lewis. I mean, he is the only left back we have. Because yep. in my eyes, Dummett is a left-sided centre back who gets played to p force to play left back. Richie is a left mid who gets forced to play on the whole wing. So Lewis is the only left back we have, but still doesn't get a game. Crazy. So is that because Bruce doesn't like him, or is that because he's not doing something that we can't see? Well, that's the worry, isn't it? You think if he was putting a shift in and training, then surely he'd get a chance. He's got to be. How many times have we questioned that about Bruce, though? Like, why did Dwight Gill get a new contract if he's never going to play? Why, why did Matty Longstaff never get a sniff? Yeah. I mean, there's many players that have just sat on the sidelines, and even last week, we've seen Lascelles brought back in, and he was so bad. And you've got Sean Fernandez there, I sitting know. on the bench. Well this, well, this is the thing for me. I think Fernandez is the best centre-back we've got at the moment, or at least um, he certainly was over the last few seasons. But even this season, I think he's just getting older. Yeah. You know, you can't keep playing this poor bloke over and over again when he's lost his legs. Yeah. Um, but I do agree again. The likes of Gale, I'm glad Wilson's back. And I'm glad he got big a goal. Bonus, big bonus. Because it, um, it shows Wilson, like, I mean, he didn't really do anything else but that goal in yeah. two minutes. But that's, he's the number nine, you're a striker, that's his bread, but that's what he's paid for. Absolutely. If he scores a goal and he doesn't touch the ball for the rest of the game, we win the game 1 0, I don't give a shit. Yeah. You, you don't care what he does, he's there to score goals. So Wilson's goal chance and score and ratio is, is unreal, really, when you think yeah. about how often he get, actually gets a chance yeah. and puts it away. So away from home tomorrow. I remember last year, the old 2-0, Julian on and Wilson late goals. <laughs> Hopefully repeat of that. We'll I go mean, down a treat. Yeah, well, as you say, this is, this is what I mean. I know you want to mix it up. My worry is, and I definitely agree with you because we can't get any worse, but Brucey must have had a reason. You know, Gail, well, he was the only fit striker and he still didn't play. Lewis is the only fit left back and he still didn't play. So although I agree, we do definitely need to change things up. You've got to think there must be something wrong mm. if they weren't getting played in the first place. Um, what I am hoping to see from Graham Jones, and he obviously has done his first interview as the caretaker manager of Newcastle. Um, he's obviously come out, he's a local lad. He says he wants to do the best he can for us. I'm hoping at the very least he will instill some sort of passion into the team before going out i mean the, the big thing is for me is that brucey has taken a lot of stick um the players really although they have taken stick brucey's taken the brunt of it mm. i think they need to go out tomorrow and show that you know it was it was brucey's fault you know we're actually all right 
You know, it, it was his <laughs> fault. Bad. Yeah, it was his fault. It's not ours. So if they go out and put in a good performance tomorrow, people will go, oh, right, hang on. These guys actually can do it. It was the management that was letting them down. You know, if they go out tomorrow and don't play well, you know, then the questions go on to them. Which it should do. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because what's the, what's the excuse going to be now? If Jones is going to be here for the next couple of games, it's Jones's big opportunity to shine. Yeah. I mean, he's had one permanent position as Luton boss, I think, before. Yeah, that yeah, didn't yeah. go well for him. He's at his hometown club now. What what a chance for him. I mean, he's never going to impress the owners and get a job full time, but at least you can hold your head up high. Manage if, manage if he gets a draw tomorrow, beats Chelsea or vice versa. How 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 happy and proud yeah. would you be of that? So take that on board, go for that. And then the players, it's 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 a huge few months for these players. Because in January, a lot of them could be on yeah. the, at the job centre. Yeah, you're right. You know I mean, there's a lot of, lot of players up for grabs. You have positions up for grabs, players in and out. So it's a big turning point, this, and where, where we don't want to be the richest club in the world on the way to the championship because it's it, if we don't win the more that'll be nine games in the Premier League without a win and, and this is the thing because you, you're absolutely right in terms of these players need to show why they should be here not only in January but in the summer as well which is why I felt so let down in that Spurs game mm. because I know Brucey was still there I know no one wanted him to be there but I still thought the new owners being there packed stadium that would have been enough to get the performance out of them and it still wasn't only for the first 10 minutes and then 10 it minutes it yeah so that that does scare me for tomorrow um, as I say Jones he's had about 5 minutes to try and work a bit of magic um, I think the biggest thing you can do is say look you go out there you show like, what you can do the management's changed and you know we thought possibly there might have been a new manager in the stands tomorrow but it doesn't look like that <coughs> is going to happen as I of mean, at the minute there's that many reports flying around yeah. at the minute you just don't know what to believe but I was told yesterday and I fully believed that so that I would be appointed today Yeah, he'd be in the stands on Saturday at Palace and he'd be taking training on Monday and it'd be his first game in charge next week I know so obviously today it sounds like they kind of decide on who they want as manager they're, hold, they're holding <laughs> several interviews with several clients uh, candidates sorry so there's there's many decisions still to be made so Jones is going to be in here for the next couple of weeks well yeah but what you said was a good point is that Jones hopefully can get the reins off the players can hopefully work with the players can implement his ideas because we've yeah. seen before where Jones and Bruce have been on the sidelines and Bruce has kind of not yeah. really took it all in us maybe pushed away the odd idea yeah so if Jones can come in and play exactly how he wants and he can't go for it nothing to lose let's, no. let's, let's try and get a win absolutely mate well as I said he's not had, he's not had long at all but I'm hoping that that just that little bit get that little bit of passion into them like you know what it's your time to go out there and do it and hopefully we can enjoy our day tomorrow so did you give a prediction 1-1 one, one as well, mate. 1-1, one, 1-1, one, one, one. so yeah, let me know down below what you think is going to happen in the game tomorrow. Sorry that the phone <laughs> keeps sliding away from us there, but um, hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are for tomorrow. Let me know if you think Jones can turn things round in time for tomorrow to get our first win. And what do you think's happened with the manager situation as well? Is that going to happen soon, or is, James, uh, is Jones going to be in charge for a few more games? All right, thanks for being, being on, Matty. Uh, you can obviously check out the Magpie channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Yeah.